turtle nerds welcome back to another video in today's video I want to show you guys three really cool new turtles that I got that I kind of jumped on because I figured I'd never seen them before they looked really interesting and one of them I think looks kind of special to be honest so I'm gonna show you the unboxing of those and the little setup that I have for them also I was trying to pick a shirt to wear in today's video it's kind of hot so no shirt, no capes. No capes! Before we get started with today's video, I want to remind you guys to please hit the subscribe button. It helps me out and helps to support the channel. If you want to go that one step further, head over to my Patreon where you can join a list of amazing people and you can join and support me. You get exclusive access to some cool content, some really unique stuff. And I show you guys stuff before I actually get it on there. I have like a lot of really big things going on and people at Patreon already know all the crazy stuff, but there's something really exciting happening. If you want to find out, you gotta head over there and join these people. Also, it helps me like upload more frequently, stay up to date and like encourages me to actually keep uploading twice a week because, okay, to be perfectly honest, like with school, um, it's a lot. It's a lot, schoolwork plus Patreon. I have a lot of other stuff going on outside that I can't really talk about, but like, and I'm just like on the grind, like just keep going, keep going, keep her gone, keep her gone, keep her gone. But also thank you to everyone who's already supporting me. Y'all are the bomb. So without further ado, let's go on by some new turtles and check out their habitat. Also, please <laughs> ignore the habitat that they're in. I kind of upgraded all the hatchlings again and there's reasoning for that that I can't talk about because, well, these three terrapins are not the only addition that I got this week. And the newest one, if you thought that that big female dragon fruit was crazy, y'all have no idea what's coming. Oh no, we need the unboxing footage. So right now the unboxing footage should be playing, but I can't actually uh, include the audio because I was in class when these turtles arrived so literally you can see me in class like on the zoom call people in the chat were like what is Dan doing I messaged my professor privately I'm like hey I just got turtles in the mail she knows who I am so she's like totally cool with it but Anyway, these are like a couple month old terrapins and they're really unique. I want you guys to try to guess the subspecies, but they are really, really cool looking turtles. It's part of the reason that I had to jump on it and go and get them because they are just so unique looking. I've never seen ones like this before. And one of them looks like a certain subspecies that is extremely difficult to come across. So I figured I should jump on this opportunity. I'm gonna put them in here for right now. Come here, buddy. Wow, look at that. Sorry, it's a little bright in here. Hey there, little guys. Oh, you are little. You are little. Hi. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Hold on. Listen, turtle nerds, my room is a literal disaster right now. We have boxes, laundry, things all over the place, all kinds of turtles everywhere. Peep that new addition that you guys don't know about yet, except for the patrons. But I had to like really quickly make more room for my animals. So that video will be next week about how I just um, kind of threw up a mini pond in my room. So just kind of ignore that for right now. We're gonna focus on these three new additions and then next week I'll discuss the mini pond and everything. Let's peep the new addition. Check out, that's the smallest one of these guys. They are really cool. Here comes another one right next to him and they're siblings. That's one of my hatchlings, the one that I'm giving away actually. And check it out, check these turtles out. They are just extremely unique looking, especially this one right here. Check him out. These are a really, really cool combination of terrapin subspecies, so they're not just one. And he turned out making this really, really unique looking pattern. What is he doing? Oh my goodness, this terrapin needs some help. Okay, there you go, buddy. But let's just check these guys out. Look at this terrapin, I mean, they are so cool. And they're a lot larger than my hatchlings, so I had to do something funky in this tub, a little sort of cool DIY setup. But check these guys out. They're absolutely stunning. Let's let him go. Boop. And these guys are very food motivated. Some individual terrapins are not as food made as food motivated as others. But these guys are really, really, oh, this is the most skittish one. These guys are really cool. I did have them quarantined from my hatchlings for a while. So made sure that they were okay. Oh buddy, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna hold them for too long, but check out these patterns. I mean, these guys are insane. These are some really cool, really special looking turtles. I actually never really got a good, good look at them, but these guys are fantastic. Check them out. 
check them out. So I'm going to explain these guys are a combination of three different subspecies. They are part ornate, northern concentric, and Texan. So that's Littoralis, Macrospelota, and Malclemys terrapin terrapin. Each one is sort of displaying like a more unique characteristic of one of the subspecies. Please focus. This one is displaying more um, concentric. You can see those bold markings. That's very indicative of concentric. This one looks a lot more like, well, it looks a little bit more like an ornate, the black coming through its shell and sort of the blue head pattern. It's a little bit more like an ornate. And then this last little guy is looking a lot like a Texan um, just because of the fringes around the shell. It's hard to even explain. They just kind of get that look where you can kind of tell. I don't know, I can pick out the unique characteristics that are from each subspecies. It's so weird and so hard to describe, but these guys are just stunning and I don't want to keep teasing them. I think it's time we put some food in the enclosure. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of food here. And you can see they're going to go crazy for this. Two of my hatchlings are also mixed in with these fellas, but nobody else I thought was large enough to go in with these guys. These are two of mine. Those are two of my babies. That one is actually going to the giveaway winner tomorrow. There's one of the new ones. And my hatchlings are right in here. These are the ones that are too small to go in this enclosure. So they're just kind of in like a mini enclosure within the larger enclosure. We'll talk more about it when I do the mini pond video on this setup. Check these guys out. Really, really freaking cool. Just very unique. Some very, very unique looking terrapins with really big attitudes. They're super friendly, super cool. They're just kind of all over the place. They're really fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick little unboxing video, a little show off of some new animals. Also quick note, I'm going on vacation next week. So the next two uploads, I'll either have to edit from there or like, I don't know, just stand by with those two. Hopefully I can edit something together, but if not, just be aware that that might be a thing. If you enjoyed, you know, please hit the subscribe button, head over to Patreon if you like, and I will see you all in the next one.